Hi there, in this video I'm going to cover adding XY data to ArcGIS. By XY data I mean uh, point data that has some spatial component. So in geology there might be some foliation data that has a location associated with each foliation measurement or place names or various other types of data. Uh, it's quite a common operation but it's one that's <coughs> that uh, is actually um, quite a few steps to it and it can be kind of tricky. Um, so there are some ways in ArcGIS to open a spreadsheet directly but in my experience there are often uh, problems with this approach and it is also possible to con convert directly from an Excel spreadsheet but I find this to be unreliable. Um, my preferred technique is to convert um, to a CSV format from Excel um, and then uh, convert that directly into a shapefile or a feature class in, in a geodatabase. Uh, so uh, the first thing you want to do is get the add xy data files um, folder and uh, extract that. So that's what I've got here. Uh, so we've got a mxv map document and it's got relative paths to this data here. And we've got a foliation uh, Excel spreadsheet, and we've got one image that's just for uh, kind of reference so that you can see the points are plotting uh, correctly. So we just want to first open up this Excel spreadsheet, and we're just going to check check this. Now there's a few things. This spreadsheet has been prepared to be um, suitable for adding. Uh, converting into a shapefile. So some of the things that make it suitable, we've got a single um, column heading for each of the columns. Um, so if you have multiple headings then it's obviously that's going to um, mess things up. So if you have multiple groupings up here you just need to have that single heading for each of them. Um, and the other things we've got are clearly labelled easting and northing and you see I've also put the coordinate system uh, without that information how would another user know uh, which coordinate system is being used for this data here um, and the other fields I've got you can see they're all numbers if you have other characters in here for instance in dip if you had the dip direction as east, north, south and you couldn't act, it wouldn't recognise this field as a number field. So the first step is saving this data, the spreadsheet is a CSV file. So we go file, save as, and I'm just going current folder. And what I'm going to choose here is CSV comma delimited. So there are other options down here for CSV Macintosh and CSV MS-DOS, but it's the comma delimited one we want. And we can give it the same name there. So we go save. So the f Excel report brings up this warning. Um, some features might not might be lost. Um, in this case, we've just got data. Uh, so the things that can be lost are graphs and formulas and various other things. And the other point is that it also only operates on the current worksheet. So saving to a CSV applies just to the current worksheet. Now that's important that we uh, close this file now because what happens is there's a lock file created usually it stops ArcGIS from being able to work on the data. Uh, when we close this it's asking us if we want to save changes. Now what Excel is doing here is that although it's changed the extension to .csv it's actually storing Excel format only features. Um, so if you had multiple sheets here they wouldn't go away as soon as you saved it as a CSV. So that's why it's asking you whether you want to save changes because it still thinks there's some features that it might need to save in another format. 
So we can just go don't save here. Uh, now you can see we've got that file there. So we we'll just um, start going through the workflow for adding XY data. So the first step is we will go up here and open this add XY MXD document. <coughs> Uh, this is going to take a while to open, so apologies about that. And I'm just going to bring this down so that it fits within this screencast area. Um, I'll bring this over a little bit, we don't really need too much space taken up from there. So the key thing is that you get this catalogue sidebar. Um, you can do this all in our catalogue. I just kind of prefer to do it this way because um, I like using this home folder to work on things. So if you haven't got it up already, bring open the Art Catalog by clicking here or Windows Catalog. Uh, click on Data and you can see you've got this foliation WT. Now that, if you had done this step of making the CSV file after you'd opened the uh, Excel file, uh, uh, sorry, after you've opened the map document, then this might not update. So to update it, you click on the folder that you want to update and then push F5 and that will update this list to the current files that are in there. So the thing we want to do now is right click on this and create feature class that's just come off the screen unfortunately but it says from XY table so that's what comes out there sorry about that maybe if I just bring this in so we can see that actually create feature class from XY table uh, now ArcGIS defaults putting east you, you do have to pay attention to almost every dialog box in ArcGIS because this default is just crazy it's folding to using um, easting for the X and the Y and that will mean that the plot, the data will plot on uh, kind of 45 degree line somewhere in your map area uh, we'll right off your map area usually so we want to choose the northern field and we want to select the uh, coordinate system now I've favorited this NZGD2000 NZTM which is the one we're using but I'll show you how to get to that so we go into projected, it's very important that you choose um, either if projected if you're in using a projected coordinate system so with eastings and northings and meters usually and geographic coordinate systems have latitude and longitude so you need to make that choice straight away and make sure it's the right. Um, I've got a section covering some of the common mistakes with adding XY data that um, you can look at. So scrolling through here getting to the GD2000 ones and right down there is NZTM and if we click on that add to favorites button it'll add it to our favorites so we're going to choose that one and output location we can just click on the home folder to get to the folder that the map was in and put it in the data folder and I'm just going to use shapefile that's fine it's just preceded it's got XY foliation and we go OK so that's just operating now and you can see it's updated there we can drag that onto the map and we've got points that show up in these creek sections which is where where I expect to see them so if you want to kind of check your data there's a couple of things you can do um, if you click on identify and then one of the points it'll tell you some of the uh, about that point you can also click here and open attribute table
and here we can see um, we've got all the attributes that were in the original sheet so that's all fine um, so a couple of things to check with your data I know this data is all fine but one thing we can do is just check um, if you've entered data by hand there's a possibility that you transpose numbers or um, drop numbers so one thing you can do is select use the select tool select all the data open the attribute table and just scroll through and see if there are any that haven't been selected so you're selecting within your map area um, just to check that all the data have been plotted in the map area and you can if you're wanting to um, go to say there's one that's missing say this one is missing we can right click on it and go um, zoom to selected and that'll take us to that point so we can see where it might be if there's one that isn't plotting in the right place so there's a couple of bits on problem solving that I've um, got further further down in the post uh, but this is that's the basic approach to adding XY data to ArcGIS Thank you.